Hi, Jerry Mikulski again, this time talking about the session with Tatiana and Diana uh, and showing you my brain around them. So Tatiana Di Maria is a music producer, singer-songwriter, has synesthesia we learned from this, and has a band called Tat that she founded in 2003. Uh, here are some of the things that she said during uh, the conversation, which I'll come right back to. Then Diana McFadder started a company called Nachi, which is named after Fibonacci, the mathematician from back in the Middle Ages, who created the Fibonacci number, and some of you uh, know exactly what that means, but Fibonacci is trying to drive content to juice engagement. Uh, and the two of them had a really uh, interesting conversation. The two of them had a really interesting conversation that went lots of different places. Um, and, for example, they were pointing out contradictions, like, we can't desire lots of money while saying the system is evil. Uh, but also, we don't know as humans where to put our collective trust. And I'm going to connect that to something right now as we go. Then, um, one of the interesting things that Tatiana said was, that rang my bell kind of later, <clears throat> was, do you blame people who don't believe big pharma and government for doubting the vaccines? And I am not a vaccine doubter, I'm not a vaccine skeptic, and I've kind of been working hard on this thought here to convince people to take the coronavirus vaccines. What will it take? Uh, is it effectiveness? How effective are they? What does that mean? Uh, all these different kinds of evidence. Should we have mandates? Uh, is, what about honesty and transparency to get people to accept uh, mandate, uh, the vaccine? And I also have thoughts about um, how we've had the huge erosion of trust in corporations and in government. We have basically, um, humans have lost trust in all sorts of institutions. And here we are, it's government, one of the least trusted institutions, telling them that they should use something created by Big Pharma, which is not exactly uh, uh, held in high esteem these days. So, for example, the pharma companies helped weaken legislation in the U.S. that opened the opioid floodgates. And we've been having an opioid epidemic for years now. The, the pandemic just landed on top of the opioid epidemic and in fact made a lot of people even um, more desperate. So that was a really interesting sort of path for me. Uh, and then there's a lot here about coping with crises. Uh, how do we, if we're getting close to midnight, um, I, I, I'm sort of creating a, I'm creating a node called common themes across the uh, unfinished 21 sessions. And one of those common themes is, hey, we're very close to midnight on the doomsday clock, which is, in some sense, the premise of this event, right? We're basically a minute before midnight on the doomsday clock. Um, so what on earth should we do? And the question then is, you know, I have, I've had this active thought, will we fix what's actually broken during meltdown? And here I point to all the various crises we have. The system was broken before corona, coronavirus hit, let's fix it. Uh, make th making things better when you repair them, a whole series of, uh, of different thoughts connected here. But we really don't know what to do, and so many of the sessions here at Unfinished are, are, are going into that territory. So uh, here's common themes across Unfinished 21 sessions. Uh, one of them, uh, healing from trauma and coping with crises, are repetitive, uh, partly because our theme is midnight, uh, what should we do right now is the one I just connected to. Deep listening seems to be one of the remedies. Deep listening to yourself, deep listening to other people. And then one that I'm presenting new here, which is a really important thought for me in my brain, is that we are in a titanic battle over the narratives in our heads. And by the way, we've always been. The idea of story, of narrative, is really essential. And I'll be coming back to this in, in other, uh, as I story thread, other sessions uh, at Unfinished. But whoever controls the major dominant narrative kind of controls the structure of institutions, how people think, therefore how they vote and how they act, uh, all sorts of things. And there's plenty of people trying to figure out right now how to change those stories in our heads. Uh, here I have another thought that we need to change our narratives, our scripts, metaphors, and framing. And again, this is my brain, a piece of software I did not create, but this is all my data. 
I filled this brain for 23 years. It has almost a half million things in it, some of which are books on Amazon, some of which are videos on YouTube, some of which are posts on Medium, uh, some of which are articles on JSTOR, uh, all over the place. So um, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll keep story threading as, as, uh, as these sessions keep coming through.